Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. So this video you're about to see on YouTube is a free preview of my course on Timeleaf and the Spring Framework, how they work together. If you like what you see in this series, head over to my website at springframework.guru and you can learn more about the full course. Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. So in this module, I'm going to show you how to go out to GitHub and check out a project. We'll do this all inside of IntelliJ. Now, as you take this course, I'm going to be going through a lot of code examples and as much as possible at the beginning and the ending of modules, I'm going to give you the beginning code and the ending code. And these will be different branches within GitHub where you can should be able to go to the state of the code at either the beginning or the end of the project. And through this, you can uh, check out the project, work on it. If you run into trouble, you can uh, go to GitHub and then see the ending result, which is a working copy that I had of the source code. So this is something that I expect you'll be doing a lot. You may or may not be familiar how to do this in IntelliJ. That's why I decided to show you this module. If you're comfortable working with GitHub, please go ahead and skip over this and jump to the next module. If you're not and want to see how, how to work with IntelliJ and GitHub, please continue and, and I hope you find value in this module. Okay, so here's the uh, a typical course and where I've got the, the module out on GitHub. And I'm just going to click on that link to get out to GitHub. And that should open up in a new window. And here's the typical GitHub page. And it's really easy. This tells us the general stuff about the repository. And we just want to check this out from, from GitHub. So all i got to do is copy it over to the clipboard. And if you look here, i got this little, little icon here that says copy a clipboard. So I'm going to do that. Copy it over to clipboard. And now I'm going to go up here and say file new new from version control and i can say github and i'm just going to paste in that url and we, we can see it i got a preset to a demo directory where we're going to check check this out and all i got to do is say clone and by convention i always keep the directory name equal to the, the project name in github so now I can just say clone and IntelliJ is going to go out, open it up and we want to add this as a Maven project. And we can see down at the bottom, IntelliJ did a little in indexing. Now I can come in take a look at the project structure. And this is the same project that we, we created. Now IntelliJ is giving me a warning saying project SDK is not defined. That's why strings not coming up. So let's set up the SDK and I want to use my latest version of Java, Java 1.840. You might have a different 1.8 installed on your system, but any 1.8 version should be fine. So now one thing I did in this, I added in a couple temp files and it's a feature or quirk if you want to look at that way of GitHub, where if you have an empty directory as in no files in it, GitHub will not replicate that directory. So I added a couple temp files here to maintain those. And the other thing I added when we created this was a, a git ignore file. You can initialize a git directory with a git ignore, but I, I have a, a custom file that I use. It has all the stuff for IntelliJ in there and some other things. So these are all stuff that git is going to ignore, so it won't bother you. And then of course we have the markdown file for GitHub so that that's what is displayed on the homepage of GitHub. Okay, so you can see how easy it is to check out a GitHub. It's nothing to be scared about. It's a, a very common developer task to have to check out of uh, GitHub. So as you progress through the course, if you get lost on anything, don't be afraid to go ahead and start a little project and, and take a look at the code inside of GitHub. It's a real quick and easy task to do. Yeah.